Ça va, mes amis? How are you doing, my friends? We're back here with Daring to Dare, another chapter. And this chapter is going to be called Unconditional Love, Part 1. And I realized <laughs> when I looked at the last video, you could actually see through my hair. So I put this in the back. Hopefully it's not so bad this time around. And hopefully I gave you a good laugh in the last time. <laughs> yes, unconditional love. All the while I was working at Provincial, um, I had a special someone in my life. I was in Burger King on Route 202 in Bluebell, Pennsylvania, United States of America. Now, most of the world I think I know, I, I think, knows Burger King. Well, I don't go to Burger King anymore, but I used to back then. And I'm in line, this is a Friday night, I'm in line with a friend of mine, girl, a girlfriend, and I'm gonna order something. And I got this feeling, you know? This is a feeling I get often, uh, that, you know, and it, that something just, tells me to do something, literally. Now, I'm not gonna do anything that's dangerous, of course, but my instincts are right on. Something told me to turn around in the line, and I did. I probably look like that with my mouth open. I know my heart skip the beat because I was looking up at a Greek god the most gorgeous hunk of male flesh I had ever seen up close <laughs> so move over Brad Pitt he was just as good looking as you, but you didn't nowhere have the body that this guy had. And when you start lifting weights, oh, Hercules. <laughs> I honestly think it was love at first sight, for me anyway. And we got to talking. He was there with a male friend. And um, it seems that we stayed a little longer than we were going to a Burger King. And he asked me if I wanted to go on a date the next day. He was going up to Morgantown where there was a race track and he was racing cars. And I thought, well, Okay, I mean, never been to a racetrack. I never knew anybody that raced cars. I thought, well, this is something new. I'll give it a try. And so that's what we did. And I really had a great time. I really had a great time. His, he raced Corvettes. He had two Corvettes. He had a 62 Corvette and I believe it was a 64 Corvette, and they were all souped up. And he was racing them. He was doing pretty good, too. I mean, when I say the racetrack, it was an authentic racetrack with crowds and everything. Oh my gosh, I saw cars going up in the air. This is 40 years ago. I don't want to tell you that, but I mean, it was, it was pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome. I enjoyed it. It was fun. So there was the start of our relationship. And as I said, I fell hard. I fell hard. Deep down, hard. Below the ground, hard. I mean, I fell in love. And 
And so I'm going to leave you with that. You can think about that and think, recall maybe the special loves of your life. And we'll be back at part two to resume this fairy tale romance. Au revoir, mes amis.